Namaste. I'm Alpa Rabo. I'm a certified yoga therapist, and I'm bringing you this class on behalf of Orlando Health Yoga Cancer Center. We will start our class with a standing position in a mountain pose. Softening our shoulders, eyes, tongue, and teeth. Deep breath in. And out. Let's stand tall like a mountain. This pose is called mountain. And we're gonna find a little bit of grounding through our feet. Let's let's um, figure out what it feels like to be grounded. We hear that word a lot in yoga. So we're gonna lift our toes up and spread them kind of hard. Might even spread out like a little fan and then drop them down. Come on your toes, lift your heels up and drop. Just go from side to side on your feet. Bend your knees and release. Soften at your hips, just move the hips side to side. Let them get a little loose. Soften your arms, shake your arms out and just go rotate side to side with both your arms. Let's just get our body a little loose, a little moving. Arms go over the head and ah, drop them down. Inhale, lift. Ah, drop them down. Inhale, lift. Ah, drop them down. Does that feel great? Let's do this three times. Inhale, lift. Ah, again. Ah, soften your knees. Inhale. And release back up. Shake out your hands, shake out your feet. We're gonna do a couple of hip circles. We're gonna wake up our body before we go into a standing meditation. So softening, circling our hips. Notice what's cracking. Notice what feet, what are you feeling inside? This alone every single morning is so powerful going in the opposite direction great shake out your legs bring your arms out to the side and just go side to side one palm to another moving side to side one palm to another side to side deep breath in Breath out, move side to side, and gently shake out your legs. Bring your palms again next to the hips, shoulders round and back, and let's come to our quiet space. Soften your eyes, jaw, and the mouth. Deep breath in, breath out. Softening our forehead, eyes. Inhale and exhale. Come to stillness. Notice now how you feel beneath your toes. How do the knees feel? Maybe shake out your knees, come back to stillness. How does your body feel? So the goal of the standing meditation is just to notice, scanning our body for the points of stiffness, for the points of discomfort, noticing how the shoulders feel, the neck feel, the jaw feels, without judgment, without trying to change it, wanting to change it, without aversion to it. Just notice how does the body feel, standing tall, how do the feet feel, the toes, the little joints like fingers. Deep breath in. Breath out. 
We're going to gently bend our knees, open your eyes, blink your eyes a few times. Keep blinking as you gently fold forward. Keep blinking your eyes, keep blinking your eyes, keep folding forward. Blink your eyes a few more times and come up all the way. Keep blinking your eyes, keep blinking your eyes as you look up and gaze up. Gaze all the way up. Gently arms out to the side, over the head. This time bending our knees slowly, fold forward with both our arms. Drop your arms. Shake your head, yes. Shake your head, no. Blink your eyes a few times. Eyes are a window to the soul. We hardly pay attention to our eyes. Keep blinking as you fold it forward. And gently rise up, bending our knees, arms over the head, look up. Simple, soft gaze. Keep looking up, bring your arms all the way to the back. Gentle back bend from our torsos. We're not pushing our hips back, just the arms back. And then slowly arms come out to the side. We're gonna float forward by bending our knees, okay? When you bend your knees, just support your low back. So knees are gently folded. And head down, deep breath in and up. Inhale, exhale. Now again, blink, blink. Tighten your eyes, tighten them, close them tight and open your eyes. Close your eyes tight, notice how you feel in your forehead and open if your forehead right away starts hurting. That means you need to do this more, but not now. Try to make it a habit. Tighten your eyes and open and gently come up, arms over the head, hands at heart center. We're gonna bring a little bit more awareness to our eye region today. There's actually a whole section of yoga for eyes, but there's no need to just focus on yoga for the eyes, yoga for the cheeks, yoga for the skin. We can actually combine it and bring a little bit of each practice in here. So bringing our feet a little bit wider than hip width now, and about the same thing that we did before. Okay, we're just gonna Shake, bring our hips from side to side this time. The feet are a little bit wider apart, so different parts of the legs get stretched out. And our low back, the little ligaments that are being stretched right now, keeping our low back strong and forward. Now focus on your eyes again. Are you looking at the screen with very rigid eyes or soft eyes? Are you looking at the world with the rigid eyes or soft gaze? Shake out your hands, shake out your feet. Again, keep the hip width apart, same thing. Go from side to side. And as you go side to side, we're gonna focus on the thumb, okay? And as you move, you switch thumb to thumb, okay? So focus on that extended arm's thumb and then go to the opposite sit side. Keep looking at the thumb. Steady gaze, steady mind. Even though your body is moving, you're focusing on that thumb. Maybe you're noticing your manicure. I have one thumb painted and the other not. But it's all good. They're still beautiful. So just notice just the thumbs, maybe the skin around it. That's all we're doing. And come back and shake it out. Shake out your feet. Great, again, the same exercise we did, we started, but we're just gonna keep going wider and wider and different parts of the body will start opening up. Arms over the head and releasing with the And when we release, make sure you bend your knees slightly, inhale and and as you move forward again inhale blink 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 keep blinking and then when you look up let go of the blink and blink and keep blinking and then come back up great shake it out 
When was the last time you exercised your eyes? Our pupils, the corners of the eyes, as you move your eyes from side to side intentionally. Just like breathing exercise pranayama is an intentional focus of the breath, or we're always using the breath, right? Just like removing our body, removing it intentionally on purpose. So the same thing, we're gonna on purpose move our eyes from side to side, stretch it and get the corners of the eyes. The stronger your eyes are, the stronger your mind becomes and it flows to everything else. It's also very good for mental health. So shaking it out, again. Okay. We're gonna go a little bit wider, not too wide. Make sure you have balance. So if this is too much for you, come back a little bit, okay? So right there, a little bit wider. That's it. Inhale. Exhale. And the same thing, it'll be a little harder to do the hip rolls, but we're gonna do the hip rolls. And now I want you to do the hip rolls. It, you won't be able to go as fast, but do it slowly and notice. Now you're really stretching these muscles, right? And then go in the opposite direction. And just micro movements and shake it up arms over the head, hands at heart center, arms out to the side. So yoga always begins, make your fist, make some fists and rotate at your ankles. So normally some of the yoga classes start with really rapid movement. We're supposed to start moving our body or we should, there's no supposed to, it's everybody has their own method, but we should start moving our body softly and gently, micro movement. We go from micro level of waking up the body then to bigger level. Then we get bigger arms out to the side, explosive movements, and then your body is ready. Your joints are ready to take the explosive movements. Your joints are ready to stretch that far. So this is why I like to go slow in the first 15 minutes wake up the ligaments, wake up the big joints, wake up the muscles, get the limbs a little moving, and then go into the bigger movements. So, arms out to the side. Again, remember that thumb, remember that gaze. Look at that thumb as if you love it, okay? Side to side. Just keep looking at that thumb. Now notice which part of the knee is moving. Notice how the shoulders are moving. Notice how the ankles are now taking interest suddenly because you need to stay balanced. Notice how the feet are rooted a little bit more. Keep going side to side. Keep going a little bit longer. And come back, arms go over the head. Hands at heart center. Now the same thing, ha breath. We're gonna do it five times. Inhale, but this time I want you to completely soften your eyes. Look at the world as if you love it. That gaze of love, the softest gaze that you can give to the outer world. It'll flow inside. So arms over the head, deep breath in. And as we fold, don't fold with tightening your knees. That's not what we're doing. It's so we're actually bending our knees and letting go. <sighs> Let your arms go. Now notice, how does this feel? Inhale. <sighs> Inhale. <sighs> and shake it out. How is that for a warm up? Do you feel a little bit more awake? Great. If you ever wanna come back and you just have a few moments, just come back and do this portion. It's good enough for the morning to get your body going. If you don't have the whole hour, it's okay to come back for single portions of the classes and redo them just to wake yourself up. So now we'll go into a little vinyasa flow, bringing our feet all the way forward, arms go over the head, soften your knees. Now notice how nice it is to fold forward. This may not be accessible to everybody if you sit in a chair. Feel free to be here. 
and just fold forward in the chair and stay there as the rest of us go into downward dog. Or you can bring your hands in front of your chair and go into a lunge. So right foot back, left foot back, and we're in a down dog. So down dog is done in every single class. But if you're going through chemo, you're going through so much pain, physical pain, caused by so many things, this is actually an advanced posture. So I would invite you to drop your knees. There's so much weight on the palms. There's so much weight on the shoulders. Sometimes we won't be able to handle it. Maybe we have neuropathy coming. Maybe we have wrist issues. So you don't have to do the down dog. You can come here at tabletop. Or if down dog is accessible to you and your body, then come to down dog. Be good to your body. Blink your eyes. I want you to rotate your eyes from side to side while either in down dog or tabletop. Look in the corners of your eyes. We're going to incorporate eye exercises as we do this. And when you do other yoga classes, remember how you can do this. Just rotate side to side to side your eyes. Come back down and we're going to sit on our heels, shake it out. Now also not all of us can sit on our heels. So maybe you can find a chair to sit on. Inhale, arms go over the head. And we're going to bring our left hand to the right knee. Right arm straight and back. Look back. Deep breath in. Exhale. Remember when we did those micro movements, with standing meditation, how it prepared you and how you can go maybe a little bit deeper here with a little bit of heat built, with our mood improved, with our willingness improved. Starting at the micro level, arms go over the head and out to the side and back. Deep breath in and out. Inhale, exhale, come back up and go back to the right hand side. Twists are amazing. Keep it gentle. Balance is not only about standing on one foot, arms over the head, right here. So just going from right side to the left side, we're also balancing our shoulders, balancing our thighs and hips. This is why yoga is done from one side to another. This is why we have forward folds and back bends. Those are also balancing postures. There's a pose and there's a counter pose. Arms over the head. So the pose for this twist is twisting to the right. Counter is twisting to the left. Forward fold and back bend are counter poses for each other. Also balancing postures. Arms over the head and to the left. Balance can also be seen by just breathing. Arms over the head, hands at heart center. Great, shake it out, shake it out. And now that we're on the floor, we're gonna stay on the floor. Bring your legs forward and just shake it out side to side. Shake it out. Point your toes forward and point your toes back. Now keep looking at those big toes. Soften your gaze from inside. And arms over the head. Look up. I want you to intentionally look up. And look as far back as you can with your eyes, not necessarily just the head. Look up and bring your eyes as far up as you can. I know it may be uncomfortable. Go as far as you can and then look down. Stay here. We're going to look up at the palms. Look down at the nose. Look up at the palms. Look down at the nose. If this feels too much, massage your forehead. 
blink your eyes. If we haven't done this in a long, long time or ever, it can hurt, but we're strengthening. It hurts because the corners of our eyes, cornea, we're not strong enough yet. So it's just like muscular tension, right? So let's just keep stretching our eyes today as we do the yoga postures, bringing our hands to the back. So this might be good enough for some of you. You can just stay here or if you'd like, you can, if you can, bring the some weight on the palms and lift up with the hips. If this is too much, you can bend your knees and lift up. And straighten your legs just on your heels and stay here, look back. Again, blink your eyes and look up at whatever you're looking at. I'm looking at the beautiful sky. I invite you to do yoga as much as you can, especially if you live in Florida or if you live in warm weather or find a time of the day where it's warm and practice outside. Deep breath in, exhale. Bring your hands in front of you and stretch. Arms go over the head and hands at heart center we're going to stay right here and we're going to open up our entire torso bring your palms forward open your heart look up and chin to chest open your heart look up and chin to chest open your heart look up and chin to chest. Palms come all the way forward. Tuck your navel in, sternum in. Tuck it all the way in and then push all the way forward as if you're folding forward. Come back, arms out to the side, look up. Look back, look back, bring your arms as far back as you can. Open your heart center. Push that navel forward. Open your heart center, stay here. I know it may be uncomfortable. Back bends are not supposed to be comfortable, but they usually are not because we're not used to it. And shake it out. Great. Bring your feet in. Great. Shake it out. Shake out your knees side to side. Shake it out. Let's just go side to side. Nice. Inhale and exhale. Coming to an easy posture, deep breath in. You can either be here, you can be sitting on your chair, or have sitting on your heels, okay? We're gonna go into a little bit of a meditation. Bring your hands to your knees, shoulders back and down. Point your fingers and thumb touching and soften your eyes. Can we keep moving? Certainly. But let's come from the movement to stillness. Notice how your lymph has moved now and created energy in your body. Let's calm our nervous system. Let's activate the healing response, the rest and digestion response of our nervous system. Coming away from fight or flight response. Meditation, gentle yoga practices, and pranayama, breathing exercises combined activates the parasympathetic nervous system responsible for rest and digest and relaxation and i think we can use that in our lives so for this class for this moment for this hour you've chosen to come to yoga big part of yoga is meditation. Let's gift ourselves this moment of stillness. It's okay to be still. 
It's okay to be calm. It's okay not to move. Give yourself this gift of stillness. If your mind wanders, mind is supposed to wander. Bring it back. It's a monkey, remember? We're going to give it something to think about. So what are we going to think about? We are going to focus. Not think about, we're going to focus on our breath. Notice the inhale and the exhale. Notice the incoming breath to outgoing breath. Incoming breath to outgoing breath. Breath in and out. That's all we're doing. Let's see if we can take 10 full breaths without our mind wandering. And every time the mind wanders, let's start back at one. Now, this is a very tough challenge. My mind wanders with only two breaths, okay? So let's try this together. And then we'll stop. Maybe we get to 10, maybe we get to five today. That's okay. Just for a few moments. Let's try to get to 10 full breaths. And if your mind wanders, take it easy on that monkey mind. Just bring it back to the breath. How far did you get? I got to about two breaths <laughs> and I had to keep coming back and keep coming back and um, start with one again. And I think I maybe got to three one time, but that's okay. Let's take it easy on ourselves. It's okay. Next time, maybe we'll get to five breaths, right? We're gonna bring our arms over the head, hands at heart center, and just do a couple of movements on our back, we're gonna bring our knees to chest and slowly lift our legs up and stay right here. Just a couple of movements on the floor. Bring your hands behind the knees. And this right here, it's called Viparita Karani. Um, legs up, usually it's done against the wall. Very powerful posture for the entire body. Deep breath in and out. In and out. Stay right here for a couple of moments. And we're gonna bring both our legs down. Bring our knees to chest and just arms out to the side. And this is a very important posture. Why do we always do this twist? before we go into Shavasana. Our Shavasana is very, it's gonna be really short today. But why do we do this? Just notice what's happening here. And then you'll know why. Go from right to left. Notice how all the kings in the entire spine look to the right and the left as you do this. Notice how all the kings kind of get released as you do this. So do you think if you did this when you woke up, your first thing in the morning, your stiff body would actually be helped? You can release some of the tension. Do you think if you did this at night, right before going to bed, a few moments, just this, arms out to the side and bring your knees from side to side. And doing maybe, if you this is the only thing you're doing, I would probably do maybe 15 to 20 and make sure you engage your neck going from side to side every morning and every night. 
and release and notice how this feels. We're gonna keep our knees bent and touch, bring your feet uh, at the edges of the mat and touch your knees together. Bring your hands on the belly and notice how this drops your low back, especially if you have curvy low back and curvy hips. So my hip, hip bone is curved to the back. So I have curvy hips, so I always have a spot right here under the hips. So some of us need to actually take care and maybe put a pillow under the hips when we're laying down a towel or right here. This is great, releasing the low back. Hands on the belly. And we're just gonna lay down here for a few moments. Again, being still is okay. Doing less is okay. Slowing down is okay. Give yourself this gift of stillness. With the eyes closed now, bring the gaze of that love inwards, inside your body. Gaze inwards to see if you can bring that look of love to inside of yourself. Loving our heart, loving our breath, loving our mind, loving our physical body, just the way it is. And slowly roll over to one side and slowly come up. Great. Thank you again for joining me for this beautiful class today. And I hope you come back and find something in it to maybe repeat for yourself, whether it's at night or during the day. Namaste.